Your overconfidence is your weakness, Alice. I bring innovation. Something you wouldn't recognize, even if it hits you in the face. Enough! What's going on here? I appreciate your patience. It is not every day we find ourselves with two candidates with such exceptional caliber. You are the finalist for this position, but I must say, this decision will be anything but easy. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment before we proceed to the final interviews. You seem to forget, Alice, that ambition alone doesn't cut it here. It's about resilience, the ability to outlast and outsmart. Qualities, I might add, that I possess in abundance. Resilient, outsmart. Please, Evelyn, if only thing you have managed to outlast is your welcome. And as for outsmarting, well, I suppose there is a first time for everything. Your overconfidence is your weakness, Alice. You rely too much on charm and not enough on substance. But this job, it requires more. It demands the best. And you think you are the best? Please. Your so-called best is just mediocrity. Dressed up in a power suit. I bring more than just substance. I bring innovation. Something you wouldn't recognize, even if it hits you in the face. Enough. What's going on here? Evelyn, would you please come to my office? We need to discuss this further. Alice, please wait here. I'll be with you shortly. Come. Evelyn, the outburst earlier was quite unexpected. Such passion, while often a driving force, can also affect and disrupt a team's dynamics. It is essential for us to address it. What sparked that intense exchange? I understand your concern, Mr. Williams, and I apologize for that thing. However, I'd really prefer to focus on the interview and how I can contribute to the team. I appreciate that, Evelyn. But well, this is also part of the interview. Please explain. Mr. Williams, I'm sorry for any unprofessionalism. The truth is, Alice and I have been rivals for as long as I can remember. Our competition spans back to us, our childhood school debates, sports, academic achievements. It feels like fate has always placed us on opposing sides. Feeling this relentless competition. Would you say this um, rivalry was intentional on your part? Not entirely. I won't pretend there were any moments we both ran into it. But honestly, it's like we were on these parallel tracks that always seem to converge. It's complicated. Hmm. It sounds like the rivalry has influenced 
both of you deeply. However, how has it shaped your approach towards professional challenges and leadership? It has been a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's driven me to excel, to push beyond my limits. And on the other, it's been exhausting, a constant battle to prove myself. It's taught me resilience, the importance of strategy, and the value of understanding those you compete with. In a leadership role, these experiences are translated into recognizing and nurturing the strengths within a team, even when their personal differences exist. That's an insightful perspective. Rivalry aside, regarding Alice's qualification, what do you think of her capabilities for this position? Alice is undeniably talented and amazing. Despite her personal history, I expect her abilities. She is more than capable to excel in this role. If she is the best fit for your team, then she deserves this opportunity. Your candle is truly appreciated, Evelyn. This discussion has been enlightening. Please have Alice come in as you leave. Thank you. You are next. Alice. Thank you. Alice, from what Evelyn shared, it's clear there is a rich history between you two. But I am particularly interested in hearing about your college days. How did that rivalry manifest in that environment? College was an interesting time, Mr. Williams. It seems like our paths are destined to intersect, not just academically, but socially too. Leadership within clubs, grades, in townships, we find ourselves in a constant state of competition. And yes, our social life weren't exempted from this rivalry either. It may seem trivial now, but at that time, even mutual interest in the same people added another layer to our competition. You've mentioned the academic and extracurricular aspects of your rivalry. Were there any personal situations that have impacted the dynamics between you and Evelyn? Yes. Here we are, personal aspect too. We find ourselves interested in the same person at one point. It may sound rival at the grand screen of things, but it wasn't just about a boy. It was how symbolic our lives seem inextricably linked, always competing for the same thing, even outside academics and career paths. Interesting. It sounds like it was a challenging time. From your experiences, how has this influenced competition and personal relationships in your life? It taught me the importance of separating personal feelings from professional goals. I learned that letting emotion dictate your action can lead to regret. It's a hard lesson, but it helped me mature. 
I've learned to focus on what truly matters, striving for excellence, not letting personal conflict stand in the way. That's a powerful lesson. Understanding how to navigate those waters is very crucial. And how about Evelyn? In all of this, where does she stand now in your eyes? Despite everything, I respect her. Our past has shaped us, but it does not define our future. Evelyn is talented, and her determination is something I admired. If she is best fit for the role, then she deserves it. This job, it's about more than just settling old scores. Alice, thank you for sharing that with me. It is clear you've both grown significantly from these experiences. Please wait outside while I conclude my deliberations. I have given this a lot of thoughts. Your history, while complex, is also incredibly powerful. Life has indeed pitted you against each other time and time again. However, within this competition lies tremendous potential for growth, innovation and leadership. So, I have decided to offer both of you the position. This is an opportunity to transform your rivalry into a partnership that can move a company forward. You have displayed individual excellence, but trust me, together you can be unstoppable. Please excuse me while I prepare your acceptance letters. Alice, I, I want to start by saying congratulations and I'm sorry truly for all the contention, every harsh word and every competition that went beyond healthy rivalry. I've been reflecting on our past and how we've always been at odds. But perhaps it's time we see this as a strength rather than a barrier. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Evelyn. Hearing that means a lot. I have harbored my share of regrets too. It's strange, isn't it? How we have led our competition defines us for so long. I'm sorry as well for every misunderstanding, the envy, every moment our competition might have outshadowed genuine admiration for your talent. Maybe it's time we turn this page together. It's funny how life works. We spent years competing and now we're here about to start a new chapter where our success depends on our ability to collaborate. I'm looking forward to discovering how much we can achieve together than we ever did apart. Absolutely. It's going to be a challenge adjusting to this dynamic. 
but I think we are up for it. We have grown so much. And if we could just channel all that energy into something constructive, there is nothing, there is no limit to what we can achieve. Here is the only beginning. I must say, this is a first for me. But I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the best decisions I've ever made. Your talents are undeniable, but it is your ability to overcome past conflicts and look to the future that sets you both apart. Welcome to the team, Evelyn and Alice. I'm eager to see how you will transform our company together. Mm -hmm. 